Ha ha ha. I'm guessing you guys thought there would be an offside sneak peek. You're wrong. But let me tell you why. Hello guys, it's Viola and today's video is special because it explains why offside will probably never come to Super League Soccer. For those who hate camping centre forwards, left forwards and right forwards, you might just have to deal with it and find another way around it because today I go into the three main reasons why offside will never come into Super League Soccer. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to the channel and let's get right into the video. Hey guys, we're on the pitch and let's get straight into reason number one. The most of the player base on this game is literally kids. Now, you as a teenager may understand what um, the offside rule is, but I'm sorry to say, most of the kids on this game, which is most of the player base, they don't understand what offside is. And it's going to be hard for them to understand it. And when something gets too hard for the brain, people tend to just not play it. And seeming as most of the player base on this game is kids, I saw people who play the game and they don't even know the positions in football. They don't know the positions in soccer. Like, that's terrible. They don't even know the positions in the game. So that's, that. well, obviously, they're going to be a bit, they're going to be a bit annoyed. They're not going to be able to play the game efficiently. They're not going to be able to have any fun in the game if you add offside. My fix to this is make offside in comp games only, like Team or Team FC or Serif FC, my my team. If we were playing a comp game, I would hate for camping centre forwards to win because they're camping. Obviously, then they could add offsides into comp games only, or maybe in ranked mode, there's offsides. Competitive, there's offsides. There should be offsides in there. Um, but. Yeah, that would be a good fix for reason one. But yeah, overall, the kids, most of the player base, they don't understand offside and most of the rules in football, they don't understand. Which is exactly why there probably won't be fouls in the game or anything else like that. So let's move on round to reason number two. Reason number two is inaccuracy. I know the idea of an offside is so cool and I want it as well. But how inaccurate is this offside going to be? Let's be so real. With the lag that there already is in the game, an offside just going to ruin it. It's actually just going to make the game worse. The lag, people people have terrible ping as it is. Imagine now you're lagging like hell. You can't even stay in one place and offside is doing you dirty. So it could end up just ruining the game even more, which is not what we want. We want it to be very, very smooth. We want it to be even smoother than it is right now. And offside is going to ruin the game. I'm telling you guys. If 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 they can't make it as accurate as possible. And they could make it extremely accurate. But that's not going to make you have good Wi-Fi. It's not going to make your lag non-existent. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. Keeping that in mind. That's the second reason why I think it probably won't get put in the game. If the lag in the um, offside system is terrible it's just going to ruin the game even more and so now you have kids who don't understand the game and that you have kids who literally cannot play it for the for, for their their lives so they don't understand it and they have bad setups so they can't even play the game you see what i'm trying to say guys like it's just not looking good in no direction you can look at it in any direction it's just going to be bad Reason number three is even worse. Reason number three. The fun in the game would be destroyed. It will be destroyed. Think about it like this. The games are only six minutes. Imagine every single time, every offside that was in the game. You'll be up there for years, man. Reason three. Fun will be taken away from the game by miles. Imagine, it's six minutes per match. Six per minute. You only have six minutes to play and you're adding an offside. Please, make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. An offside, the whole process of an offside is going to take at least the, at least 15 seconds per offside. Now, think about how many people camp their position. Yeah, it's going to take you a minute and it's going to take you a long while to get through that. And I'm just trying to say, 
if you really want to have fun in the game and play a fast pace because one big thing about super league soccer one reason we all love the game is because of how fast paced it is if you take that offside and put it in it's never going to be fast paced it's going to be slow it's going to be annoying and if the offside is a f is not called properly because of lag then it's even worse so yeah that's why i'm really be like i recommend this whole like no offside thing it's going to ruin the game it will probably be worse so i know there's many people who've said to me oh why is it no offside why is it no offside i think no offside is better for the game in my opinion um playing playing a six minute match and having to worry about stuff like that is just like bruh it's like oh, why am i worrying about that stuff the, l the match is not long enough for me to be worrying about that stuff it's simple as it's literally simple i shouldn't be worrying about all of that stuff in the game Oh my. Anyways. As a nine-year-old kid. Not me. I'm just saying. Nine-year-old kids won't understand it. So there's no point of putting it in the game. For their sake. Um, Inaccuracy due to lag. I know everyone has not got a £300 PC. Like just sitting there for them. If everyone had a £300 PC. Fair. With, with 10,000 megabytes per second internet. But we don't. So that's fair as well. The fun will be taken away. We have six minute matches and each offside will take at least 15 seconds to get the kick done and everything and this and that and this and that. Unless they make a little uh, animation for it. But even then, you're taking game time away that just doesn't need to be taken away. Um, and yeah, I don't think that would be fun. If they can fix it, my way to fix reason free about the fun and how much time it takes from the game is have it go instantly. So you make a red line, then send it straight to another pl the the closest player or whatever the centre mid probably, just one of the positions on the team. You do that, and I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. Like you you're gonna get through um the game a lot faster, and that would fix that problem. But that doesn't fix the problem that most of the kids on the game don't understand the game. But yeah, those were my three main reasons why um people are not going to want offside in the game and if it does come to the game it could be detrimental unless done perfectly so thank you guys for watching the video remember to like and subscribe um watch all my other super league soccer videos a new video will be coming out on goalkeeper tips for all of you those who need it and yeah peace